question very good question even though we just have a couple minutes left but let me explain briefly is tasawwuf or could tasawwuf be part of islam and the mainstream ummah the answer is yes and many of our predecessors lived a very simple life which similar to the concept of tasawwuf which has been humble being ascetic okay losing interest in the luxury of the dunya devoting oneself to the service of the deen to the worship of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala being extra pious and avoiding any doubtful matters okay uh, such as abdul qadir al jilani bishr al hafi and al imam al junaid and so on but there is a huge difference between those great scholars and leaders of uh, you know sincere devotion and worship and ilm and knowledge and many of the followers of today if i share with you some of the videos which i have taken by my own self to some of the gatherings of those people who claim to be sufis you will never recognize them as muslims i've taken those videos by my own self okay i'm not relying on statements of others with regards to abu al-hasan al-ash'ari and al-maturidi may allah have mercy on them may allah be pleased with them in reality those two imams after they said whatever they said uh, because you gotta know the history you gotta understand the history and what they were before uh, such as being an imam of the mu'tazili madhab and then repenting and guiding the ummah and then authoring books to refute what they have said earlier so they are of the mainstream ummah and they are of ahl sunnah wal jama'ah but many of the people who followed the old opinions of such imams and they adhere to that and they still propagate their old views they have deviated a little not entirely they are not perceived as non-muslims and to be honest with you i uh, forgot the name i'm sorry for that uh, hidayah from malaysia it requires education i teach this class of muslim sects and groups to the students at the university so that they gotta understand who's abu hassan al-ash'ari who's al-maturidi and what were their views and why there is a dispute and difference between uh, their followers and they themselves and so on hopefully inshallah when we comprehend what abdullah ibn umar said it isn't sufficient to read an article or, or read uh, you know a statement of some people that say that the Ash'aris are uh, one of these stray sects or the Maturidis or whatever learn in order to understand then when you understand you'll be able to reach safely and become rightly guided to the truth insha'Allah